Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Laura Trout. I work for West Frazier and I am the senior biologist. Today we are filming a day in the life and I hope to be able to show you a little bit about what I do in the office and a special treat, we're gonna head out to the bush, I hope, if everything works to plan. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about the area where I work and how my job um, supports the work of the uh, Woodlands Department. So with that, I guess I just wanted to introduce myself, say hi, and I'll be talking to you soon. So this is all one harvest plan because there's multiple blocks and together they're supposed to look like a natural pattern that emulates wildfire. But in this case, the, the ranks um, indicate the likely density of nesting birds in the peak nesting window. So anywhere that there's a red value or one of these, those it blocks right there they're gonna be avoided in the summer. Just to give those birds a chance to use the habitat that they came to use. And then, as you know, migratory birds migrate, so that block will have far less birds in it come winter, and so we'll make the recommendation that those blocks get scheduled to be harvested in the winter. The stuff I have on the table here is sort of a good idea for a bush day uh, in terms of the materials I would use. The first one, I guess here is binoculars. So um, when I first started with the company, I remember thinking, uh, working with my old boss at the time, Rick Bonner, he was like, we need to get you some really good binoculars. It's just standard issue for the profession. And so we um, found the best price we could for some really excellent binoculars. And I got this really cool harness, keep my neck from getting sore. And I pretty much bring these everywhere, not just for work. For people who are interested in biology and ecology, um, you know, if you're passionate about these things, opportunities will come to you. You just gotta, you know, keep your eyes open and um, your, your mind open to different opportunities and don't immediately judge, you know, one job or one possible a career path as not being ideal because when I first encountered the forest sector that was probably some of the thoughts that I had is you know am I going to get enough field time is this going to be the conservation of wildlife species that I had in mind and you know I had an open mind about those things and I ended up where I am today and I'm so grateful for that I honestly think I have one of the best jobs I could possibly have uh, in terms of my ambitions and things that I wanted to do in my career. So uh, keep an open mind, look for opportunities. If you have a contact network, then definitely use it. And I'd say also don't feel like you can't stray from what you had planned, because obviously I had different plans. I, I kind of thought I'd end up in marine sciences, marine ecology, and you know, I'm in the middle of the boreal forest and, and I love it. So. Don't be so hold fast on one idea or one plan, particularly if you're young and you're, you're entering into the professional world. 